Hey everyone, it's Travis. Real quickly, I just wanted to share with you um, something that happened a couple weeks ago. And uh, my son loves his uncle. Uncle Brandon is his name. He calls him Uncle B and wor he worships the ground that he walks on and he loves his uncle. I told my son, I said, hey, Uncle B is going to come over. He's going to play with you. My son freaked out. He ran to the front door, sat there. And he sat there for 15 minutes, and my son's two and a half, and 15 minutes to, an, to a two-year-old, it's like eternity. But he just waited, and he was expecting his uncle to come rush through the door and play with him. And as I'm watching this thing play out, I go, oh my gosh, this is exactly how we as a church need to be. That when we, we gather in a small group, or if we're meeting each other for coffee, wherever the church gathers, or on Sunday morning uh, specifically, that when we gather, we would be like that little boy who's waiting at the front door, waiting for his uncle to come play with him. Psalm 62 verse 5 says this, it says, My soul waits silently for God alone, for my expectation is in Him. We want to expect that God is going to show up. He might not show up in the way that we think he's going to show up. Uh, he is not subject to, to us. Uh, we are his subjects, and he's going to show up in the way that he wants to show up. So my prayer this week is that we would be a church that is expecting, that we wake up on uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday, and we would expect God to invade our lives that he would come rush through the door, and he'd come play with us. So anyways, that's, uh, that's the thought for the day, and I look forward to seeing you guys this week. We're praying for you, and God bless.